you're about to like the glutes a lot too. Oh boy, right? So, glutes. Glutes have a huge, huge origin. Right? They go all po posterior ilium, all the way down the sacrum. And then their insertion is through the iliotibial band and then into the gluteal tuberosity of your femur. So it goes up and down, crossing the back of which joint? The hip. And it has a bit of an obliquity to it. So if this is my coccyx and sacrum, and then this is my posterior ilium here, right, and then this is my femur, Everybody see how that works? So this would be my hip socket, acetabulum, femoral head, right? My glutes don't just go like straight up and down this way. They kind of do this, right? The big house. You know why the glutes are called the big house? You guys think I'm joking still. You guys, all, you guys are all waiting for the punchline of this joke. No, it's seriously my favorite muscle. The reason they're called the big house is your glutes are seriously the biggest muscle on your body. That's a fact. And if you ever get a chance to do cadaver work, yeah, it's a little gross, but definitely a great learning experience. What you'll notice is, is you cut into muscles and they're unbelievably small. The cross section, right? How thick a muscle is. It's usually fairly small. You get into like the, the obliques and the rectus abdominis, and it doesn't matter how fit you are. Like this, like a few sheets of paper, like the thickness of your workbook. And so you're cutting through all these spindly muscles, and then you get to the glutes. And it's one of the few muscles on the human body that you will go through scalpels, as in several, to try to cut it away so that you can see what's underneath. It is a thick muscle, not just on some people, <laughs> on all people, <laughs> all right? So the reason it's called the big house is because it's also the roof, right? The most superficial muscle for all of the muscles of the posterior hip. You guys kind of catching my drift? What does this muscle do that would make it so important to be so big? What joint actions? Hip extension? Yeah. How important is hip extension to your life? Yeah, standing up. Go ahead, get out of that chair without your glutes. <laughs> yeah. Thakunk. Yeah, I mean, you can get to the floor. You can't get up, though. This is hip extension. When I take a step forward, what do I have to do? Hip extension. When I run, hip extension, right? What about when I jump? Hip extension. Let's flip this. How do I decelerate? How do I slow myself down when I walk down a flight of steps? How do I keep myself from going and just crashing to the ground? Huh? It's eccentric, right? It's flexion. It's hip flexion, but just like I explained on that exercise graph, is it forceful flexion by your hip flexors? No, it's gravity pushing me and my glute slowing me down so that I don't crush into it. Does that make sense? You guys starting to get it, starting to see why the glutes are so important. So not only is it your primary method of locomotion, propulsion, it's also probably your primary decelerator. Derek Rose probably could have used stronger what? Glutes. Not saying that was his whole problem, but if he did a little bit more specific glute work, he might not have had such a hard time. So, I pose the question, who would want a smaller butt? 
right? No, you, have you ever seen an athlete with a small butt? Think about it. No, man, you can't be athletic. You can't be high performance without strong hip extension. Anybody who's not functioning well, knee pain, low back pain, a lot of that has to do with not having the strength to hip extend and having to compensate. Somebody comes in and goes, I want a smaller butt. I go, there's the door. You come back when you come to your senses and realize that we need to do some glute work if you want to feel good. That makes sense? What else will the glutes do besides hip extension, knowing how important hip extension is? External rotation. Can you guys see how this fiber direction turns the hip out a little bit? If this is my first favorite muscle, that would be my second. So we got the glute max and then we have the glute medius. What joint does my glute medius cross? Your hip. But this one goes from a little lower on the back of the ilium right, into the greater trochanter. So what's its fiber direction? Up and down on kind of the side of my body, right? So what does it want to do to my hip? Abduct. And a little bit of external rotation. Yeah, it is a little posterior. You're right. Now, I said this is my second favorite muscle. Do you think that's because I think abduction is extremely important? Yeah, this one's a little tricky, right? You guys are going abduction. What functionally do we need abduction for? Like we walk to work like crabs. We don't do that. You do have to make some lateral movements, so it is very important to sports, and I said playing defense earlier, is like a lot of lateral motion, a lot of abduction, a lot of frontal plane motion. But again, I'm kind of flipping this one on you. I'm not totally talking about the concentric of this muscle. It's a stabilizer, which would be its isometric function, so one of the functions of the gluteus medius is when I lift this leg, what does my pelvis want to do? It wants to do this. What joint action is this? What joint action is my, in my hip is going from here to here? That's abduction of my hip, right? It's just like doing this, only instead of femur on pelvis, Right? Instead of, if this is my pelvis, instead of femur on pelvis abduction, this is pelvis on femur abduction, right? These two things are the same thing. Going out this way, coming up this way, same thing. So the isometric function of the gluteus medius is when I take a step, it keeps this stable. It keeps this level. Can you imagine how inefficient walking would be if I did this? <laughs> like, I, don't even, I don't even know how I would get through that, that gate, right? Like, how would you get your foot to clear? What about, what do my knees want to do every time I take a step? Which direction do they want to go? They want to do this. And if I was really unstable and wobbly, what do you think might happen? They collapse inward. Have you guys ever seen somebody do a heavy leg press and like their knees kiss every time they come down? Right? So now you know what that is. You guys can figure, you have enough information to figure out why they're doing that. If their knees adduct <laughs> under that load, who's not strong enough? They're abductors to keep them held in neutral alignment. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. Your gluteus medius, it's not as important for its concentric action. 
What it is is your primary frontal plane stabilization mechanism. Do you guys find, follow me on that one? It keeps my pelvis from dropping isometrically during gait. It keeps my knee from caving. It keeps my femur in line so that everything can work efficiently. Another muscle that an ACL injury, a lot of that has to do with gluteus medius weakness. So those are my two favorite muscles. Lots and lots of glute work if you ever come to my workshops. Just about every dysfunction can benefit from glute work. And I have some torturous ways to work the glutes. I mean, if you want your glutes to burn, I can handle that. <laughs> I have some serious circuits. Serious circuits, 10, 15 minutes of you just rocking your glutes in all sorts of different ways from endurance to stability to reactivity and power. Gluteus minimus, let's start there. Gluteus minimus is a weird muscle. It actually, like if this is the greater trochanter, right, and this is the iliac crest, it actually comes over the top this way and to the front of the greater trochanter. Huh? If it comes to the front? This is the lateral aspect, right? So this is here, but it comes in like this. Yeah. Your glute min is actually your primary internal rotator of the hip, flexor of the hip, it's on the lateral aspect of the hip, so it'll also do what? Abduction. Who does that look like? Anybody remember what other muscle does those three joint actions? TFL. Nice job. TFL's nasty cousin is the glute men. That makes sense? I know it's really hard to see from that picture. We would have to get a couple cross sections out and show you guys how that gluteus minimus runs over the femoral neck into the lesser trochanter, or the greater trochanter rather, and in front of the gluteus medius so that you could see how it internally rotates and flexes the hip. For now, maybe just memorize it. 